hates the dirt. She just like because Tristan was such a powerful big figure for him to end like he did. It brought up a lot of questions and shook the entire family. This is the story of a soldier from our area. His name is Tris Tristan Lancaster. Tristan served in Iraq, but when he came home, he fought post-traumatic stress syndrome and eventually took his own life. Tristan, of course, will never be forgotten, thanks to his brother, who made a film called Tristan's Story. Justin Lancaster joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And again, as I mentioned, I know this has got to be a really difficult time. It, it's been a little less than a year since you lost your Correct. brother. Correct. May would be a year. And you decided that you wanted to make sure that his loss was not in vain. Right. Uh, when I started this, it was just... It was part of the process of grieving for me to put together stories from people who loved him and people he loved. And mm -hmm. uh, I realized after talking to people that uh, a lot of families are going through this. And now that we have more soldiers coming home, there will be other families that go through it. Uh, the depression, and, and it's, a, it's a family problem. It's not just the person who, who has the depression. Sure, because it affects, it affects entire, everybody. Entire family. Did you know what your brother was dealing with? Were you aware? Uh, I was. I think my whole family was. We just didn't know what to do. Um, mm -hmm. We tried to bring him out with people. We tried to just help him get back into civilian life, and, you know, it just wasn't enough. And and I, I just, I think that's the point of the movie, you know, that there isn't, there isn't really enough you can do, so you just have to keep trying. You have to keep helping, helping the, the people who have the issues. And you said you were able to talk to a lot of people and realize that this problem is probably a lot bigger than even you thought. No, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. And the, the key, at least from when I've talked to mental health professionals, is to get people talking about it. Yep. Because there's a stigma attached. Yep. Which, so I think a lot of people have which talked Which is the hardest part, yep. too, to get somebody to talk about it. Yeah. Um, Tristan didn't want to talk about it. He, he was clear in that he was hiding his problems. Um, and now his problems are our problems, and that's something that we have to do, because uh, we are still grieving. I mean, we have to talk, and we have to talk to people who share the same problems, or, mm -hmm. you know, we have to find a solution to this. I can imagine that um, this film is going to go a long way in helping at least bring up the discussion right. and get people to talking about that. I know that's what you're, you and your family are hoping as well. No. Um, people can actually see this film when and where. Uh, in May, the Newtown Theater in Bucks County is where we're going to be showing it. We're going to take the, all, all the proceeds from the tickets and donate it. We're still looking for the right family to donate to. Um, but it'll be up on our website when uh, we find a date and, and okay. time. Tell me that website because I'm sure there's people watching who say, I know a family yeah. or someone who would just like more information. It's hoghouseproductions.com, mm -hmm. two Gs, H-O-G-G -G, houseproductions.com. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Justin, for being here. I hate that it's under these circumstances, but I know that your brothers would be very proud. Would be very proud. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me.